joy into your building feet. It's just the fact of your ego. Oh yeah, we built a big old bridge across the ocean. It's like, why? So you can drive all your stupid ass cars over the bridge. So all this waste of materialism just so you can pollute the air and just go to California and drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes and eat meat. All that stupid shit. All right? That's what I'm talking about. So you look for that because I'm trying real hard to get that to happen. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. I really am. I like shit like that. I really do. That Krishna eventually departed Earth. His name is not Krishna. His name is Asar. They stood, when those British people went into India and stole all the books from Kemet, they invented Krishna and gave him a little white ass face. But the god Asar had already went to India and built temples and everything. And Krishna came a whole lot later. All right, I can prove that to you. They stole the whole story of Krishna as well as Jesus from the ancient Kemetic people that was based on the Asar, Aset, and Haru story. And the god Asar is the antiquity god that goes back before any deity. Any deity is was the god Asar first, and his son Haru is the son. Actually, Haru is the S-U-N, and Asar is the S-U-N also. But Asar is the perfect black dot in the middle. It means that he is the energy source behind all illumination. And then the sun, Haru, is the sun at its highest zenith, noontime, that which stays above. That's why it's represented as the falcon. And this is antiquity. The ancient Kemetic people were the first people who came upon the earth with any writings that demonstrated how our universe worked. And to prove that to you, they always come in the representation of the sun disk. As you can see right there on the goddess of Set head. You can see it on the goddess of head right there. As well as on the head of his son Haru. That's what it's all about. And you can see Haru is the falcon. Okay, that's what I'm telling you about. That which stays above. That's what a falcon does. It get in the sky and it can stay there all day. Just like the sun does. And as you can see the god of Sar, he's got the sun disc on his head like a phallus with the, with the rules rolling his plume feathers on the side. You can see the energy in his brain, in his brain the serpent paw activated and everything. And you can see him sitting on the pedestal, as the ruler, all ancient Kibetic, all of it. And whenever you see these temples with these hieroglyphs in it, it ain't no damn Anunnaki shit. They came to the earth and stole all that from the Egyptians and tried to get in where they could fit in and bring you white people into existence. Phony ass shit. Plagiarized from us. Now that's the real truth about it. So Krishna is a fraud. Just like Jesus. And the ocean consumed his city of Dwarka. For many people, the description of Let me prove it to you. Look what's on Krishna here. I'm going to prove it to you. Watch. See, these cities always get destroyed by Asar. UFOs. They always so the UFOs is Asar. That's me. This account is I'm going to make a belief out of your ass. Watch. A spacecraft made of metal that are firing down weapons on a city on Earth. The legend says that Krishna eventually departed Earth and the ocean consumed. Look what's there in the middle of his head. And look at the plume feather. See the hat, the headgear? Just synonymous with what I just showed you with the sar. But see, the white man came and made this fold. This his city own of Do you see? For Do you see what I'm talking about? And he's blue, like the blue light. Okay, but Asar is green. So they stole everything from ancient Kemet. And then they made a new version of Krishna and Jesus. All being born on December the 25th, which happens to be my birthday too. All right, they stole all that from us ancient Kemetic people. All of it. You can see they tried to make the headgear as close as possible. Look at that. Okay, do you see the headgear? Now look at the headgear on the SAR. 
Do you see? You understand? You see the thing in the middle of his forehead? Can't you see it in the middle of the forehead on Krishna? I'm reading the book right now. It's called the Bhagavad the Bhagavad Gita. Let me show it to you. The Bhagavad Gita. This right here. See? This is the book of Krishna right here. The Bhagavad Gita. Now if I open it up and read something for you, it's saying Heroism and erudition, it can be understood only by the mercy of Bhagavan and bestowed upon one who is surrendered. Therefore, the Shruti state, Nayam, Atma, and Prakamenda Labaya, the Supreme Lord, is not obtained by expert explanation, but by vast intelligence, or even by much hearing. He is attained only by one to whom he himself gives mercy. Okay? They're talking about Krishna. But it's not Krishna. It's the God of Sar. And what I'm saying to you is that all knowledge and all intelligence that's fathomable in this universe comes from the Son. So Krishna should have been the Son, but the white man does not want you to know the power of the Son because he himself cannot activate power from the sun because of his lack of melanin so he's never going to tell you that Krishna should have been the sun like I'm going to tell you that Asar is the sun and there is nothing in this universe that can give you more intelligence than the sun so just understand that the true God of this universe is the God Asar which is a human representation of the sun thus being Myself. For many people, the description of fabulous ancient cities and the Sanskrit writings of India were simply mythology. But with the discovery of the remains of the See, the sun. Under our command. Have been taking for the last six months. Now See, this is what they do. They come in with their armies. And, and when they recover everything, they can lie and manipulate what they say they found. And of course, it's going to always be pushed away from it being something black. All right? Now, even in India today, they try their best to make you overlook the heritage or the nationalism of India being melanated people. Even they black asses had the nerves to try to not want to be black. Because these white people have tarnished melanin so much that people with melanin don't know how to be proud of themselves. They think that they're supposed to be idiots and dumbasses like these white people told them they're supposed to be. This is a big problem. As you will find out once you arrive and you see the discoveries for yourself. Now we can see that this is the same type of stuff synonymous with ancient Kemet. Okay? You can see that the god of Sar came here to India and built all this stuff, just like I was telling you. The people that left Ethiopia came here to India and built all these structures. The Indian people themselves, the people of India, that's the reason why when they came to the Americas, they called the people here Indians, because they saw the skin complexion was synonymous with the people that they had saw in India. And they thought they were in India. That's why they was calling these people Indians. And they had these people in India wore the feathers in their head and everything because it was a trait of the Africans who had left Africa and went to India. So before the Indian culture got changed as much as it did, they too had times when they walked around with feathers in their head also. Alright, and this is what it all boils down to. All of the melanated people all over the earth recognized themselves as having one common link of existence. And that was from the cradle of life, from the up and down the Nile Valley civilizations. Now, in this Kush, as well as Sin, were all takeoffs from Ethiopia and ancient Kemet. They were the same people. 
and Krishna was later created by the British people who stole the whole story of Asara said in the root and changed it to fit their personification of a white Krishna. And I'll prove that to you because if you look at the book, right here, you can see that everything is as whitewashed as can be. White horses, okay, as well as a white man riding and a golden casing that the God of Sar riding. And you see the Pope in it right now. Okay, you see the Pope in it right now. But this is originally from Kemet, where the God of Sar was the person inside of that. Meaning protected by the cosmic forces. And I'm telling you right now, I see these things flying around in my house. Right now. Protected like never before. Look at this. You can see it right there. See the crook? Look at his hands. Look at him. You know that's the same stuff you see in Egypt. The same exact stuff. These big statues like that. You all know that's what you're looking at. Look at this. Look at that. That's a flail. See the flail? Look. See it? Do you see that thing going up with the with the flail right there in a crook? Look at the hieroglyph right there. You see the hieroglyph? I mean, look at it. Oh, he busted. All right, look at this right here. Look. Look how his head go up to that point right there, okay? Now look at that. Look at it. Oh, there it goes right there. There it goes right there. Okay, Mayotte Hotel, you guys. Now this is... The ancient picture of myself right here okay this is my picture that I found on the internet one day the universe told me go online and I want you to go see something so now look I want you all to take a look at that all right then you can take a look at me what it do can you see it now do you see the resemblance in a stud like me in a statue like that See the stone bicep that I got, just like the stone picture right there, you see that? Okay, now look at that face, and look at my face. Now, if you can't see that that is a resemblance of me, then I don't know what to tell you ass. All right, now wait, it gets better. I want you to look at the hat that the God of Sar has on. See his head gear? Okay, now look. Look at the head gear there in the middle. Same thing, right? Now look at the gear on his son, Haru. All right, you see it? See, he even kind of trying to be built like me, but he just ain't got as many muscles. <laughs> now look, that's the God of Saw right there, you see? See the head gear? And then that'll be the God of set with the son also, right? Okay, now let's go at this, because I want to show you something. Now you see that, right? You see that funny head? Okay, watch this. Here we go. There's the sun. Look at they white asses. Always gotta bring you something. They didn't build it, but they can tell you about it. Look at this. Ancient Kemet for show, but in India. Alright, this is somewhere else. It's not in Africa, but as you can see, same type of structure, all right? Grand, grand build, master builders that we are before we got took into bondage by the motherfuckers who made us build all their cities for them and never gave us credit for it. That's why the ass is getting ready to get killed the fuck up, okay? Shouldn't mess with God like that.